It's been six weeks since the last Pet Simulator 99 update. The game has shown signs of dying. Bugs run rampant. Scammers have found new ways to scam, and drama has caused a rift in the player base. But with a new update on the horizon, can all of these issues be remedied? An old favorite world returns to the game in a new way, and with it, a bunch of new features. As we blast off to the next chapter of Pet Sim 99, will we be met with stunning new scenery and mechanics, or will it be more of the same? We find out in three, two one has it updated has it up has wait <laughs> the update's not here. we've been bamboozled let's refresh is there a dev block six there it is that's there at least but it seems as though the update is here which means i can finally go to the rocket and 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 wait no i wanted to go okay there we go now we see it rebirth four God, i hate rebirths a new world a whole new no, with lad, no. New areas, new pets, new eggs, boss chests, currency, ranks, upgrades, all of this. Oh, there's so much to go over this update. We have no time to waste. So let's go ahead and fly over to Rainbow Road so that we can, uh, well, fly again. But, oh, I got a rebirth before I can even go. I got a, no, I got to go through everything. Where did you come from? Can you please just let me go? No, I didn't even see what the rewards were because I'm so mad. Oh, dude, I'm so mad. And then the game kicked me. It looks like you get ultimates, the unlock powerful new abilities, which is all this stuff right here. Apparently I can get the ground pound. Uh, sure, I'll just go ahead and add that in. It damages breakables around you with a devastating ground pound. Oh, okay. Cool. I also get the mastery level skills for permanent perks. Yeah, as if I've already been working on all of my rank stuff to get more perks too. Yeah, totally have been doing that. I'm not excited for this at all. This is one of the worst parts of Pet Simulator X. Now I got to do it again. I can take the rocket ship to travel to the tech world. It just fails to mention that I have to go 99 levels before I can do it again. Okay, 98, 98, 97, 97. We get 300% pet damage and we get some rewards. And the rest of this update is basically all talking about the new tech world. We ain't there yet and we gotta get there. Montage, baby. We made it all the way to level 57, 58. But if you blink twice, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I'll be at 99. Ready, set, go! Yes, we have done it. It is complete. And uh, yeah, that, wow, that totally helped. Thanks, gamers. It only took me 20 minutes to get back here, which actually isn't that bad. The other weird thing is I'm seeing a bunch of these balloon things. Where was all that in the achievement battle? Now we're about ready to go to the new tech world. But before we do that, I did come across something among my grinding journey. And it's right here in the Rainbow River, as well as the Desert Village. This one is a three-day quest. You go in here and... Well, well, nothing happens. I could showcase this one right here, but I already did it. It was to collect an enchant and it gave me this reward here. I don't know why it's lying to you. I actually had to do a hundred, not just one. And if you get the enchant quest or a potion quest where you got to collect things, you can do basically just what you have to do for the ranks and just go over here, do all this, just enchant to the higher level. And guess what? It works. It does it. Oh, by the way, I'm a level 48 mastery on the enchants. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Something tells me this one's going to be a lot easier easier to do than some of these other ones. But enough of that. Let's teleport to the rocket, which you can just click right here. Shout out for doing these. I can do instances and it just shows me where all the instances are. I'm guessing these are like all the mini games and the obbies, the dig sites, the fishing. Here's all the vending machine areas. Here's all the merchant areas, the machines. Oh yeah, this is so much better. I love this. We can now teleport to the new world, tech world. Here we go. Oh, I'm gigantic, but not only are we going to a whole new world, but we're going to a whole new server. Think how hardcore mode was for the Pet Sim X. That's how they've basically do the whole new worlds in Pet Simulator 99. I think it'll help cut down on lag, but oh my gosh, we have made it into tech world. And look, here's the supercomputer. What's up, little dude? How's it going? But it has access to all the world machines. So now no longer do you have to go all the way back. We got the huge machine, which we're going to talk about in a minute. We got all these eggs the daily quest stuff it does everything right here wait does it do this one it does it works here okay bread shiba break 9k breakables in the best area bro that's that's here <laughs> give me a minute give me give me okay well i did it well uh 
That was easy. So we can collect our rewards. We can move on to the next area. We can buy whatever this thing is, which is better tap damage, which uh, honestly I never use because I make my pets do all the work. This area is like Neon City. There's so much stuff. There's the tech spinny wheel. There's a tech chest. It's rewards. There's a new diamond area. There's all this stuff over here that basically was here before. All right, well, now that we're in the tech world, we can start going over the tech blogs again. Looks like there's a whole new egg area and there's more levels. Oh, and there's also this uh, traveling merchant. It looks a little different in this world. Not gonna lie. Also, that is not how you spell traveling. <laughs> Oh, well. Does it actually work, though? No, it's a lie. All right, let's move on. Let's start unlocking all these areas. Then we'll go back and check out some of the eggs. Oh, dude, this area looks freaking cool. I love this. Wait, what is this? Wait, warp area to 121. I haven't unlocked that yet, so it won't let me. We can buy this one. This is a pretty cool area. It's like a tech farm. All of this looks like my office. You see, in the tech farm here, there's these, like, neon-looking plant stuff. Yeah, this is all my plant wall. This whole area here, it's basically my entire desktop setup. And then the whole neon city thing. Well, I got those too. There's also some over there. And there's this one down here. What else does this world have to offer that's basically like my office? Come on, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, well, like neon lines. Yep, got a line there. Got lines up there. And there's these lines at the bottom. Well, by the next area, this is more neon lines in my colors, mind you. By the next area. And now we're back to the neon plant stuff. All right, I feel like the builders like took inspiration from my office and then the made tech world. I'm a techie guy. I used to be in IT. I literally feel like I'm at home right now. Oh, look, it's a hoverboard obby. Okay, wait, hang on. I gotta check this out. Or uh, maybe I won't. <laughs> Did Roblox just go down? I can't get back into the game. Oh, no. Creek crafts having issues. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. There's no... Okay, all right. We're it seems he can get in. Please donate, crash. okay? Oh, my gosh. How is Terra in there? You know, I'm gonna try again. Okay, crisis averted. I did have to join a public server though. And this guy's just kind of looking at me as he turned away. All right, let's see if I can do this hoverboard obby now. I can! All right, let's go. Ugh. Woo! Oh, yeah, dude. Let's freaking go. <laughs> this is amazing. I know they did this to combat the people glitching the hoverboard in the obby, and they just made a hoverboard obby. What a win. I'm totally... Oh, my God. He on X Games mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I am. Okay, 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 okay. Great, great. Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Oh. No! Okay, it, it apparently kills you. Also, that's not really the hoverboard I want to do that with. I think I want to use this hoverboard instead. The hologram hoverboard. Or the toilet hoverboard. It's gas-powered, you know. Or the rocket hoverboard. I'm pretty sure the rocket hoverboard you just ride in. Yeah. Oh, you go up high! But I think we're going to use the hologram hoverboard, which looks absolutely insane. I did it. 43 seconds. Okay, that was low-key pretty fun. Back to the grind. I'm thirsty. Give me some potions. Why won't this stuff ever work? Is it just me or did Tech World get less techie all of a sudden? I mean, I guess this is pretty techie, but I feel like I'm back on the beach again. We do have some weekly quest stuff over here, though. Uh, let's go with the Red Panda this time. Earn 105k diamonds. All right, bet. We are now under the sea, and I know what you're thinking. Is that part of your office, Night Fox? Is that? Yeah, it is, actually. I do have something water in here. It's... Let's just say this is my PC, and those two chambers have water in them. This sucks. <laughs> I think we've reached our max. We are no longer very powerful anymore. What is this? More luck. Yep. Definitely need that. We'll buy this next area. We'll send our pets here and we'll go back to spawn where we will unlock our first egg, basically unlocking the entire first row. And as you can see here, this is where we can get the huge happy computer event. It's limited to the first 1 million huges. Chance to win in any world to egg. Now, I don't know if the huge hunter game pass works on this event or the huge hunter enchants or the huge potions, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hatch this till I nope. can't. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, I could try to hatch a huge in any of these eggs here. The question is, though, like the higher and more expensive the egg, does that mean you have a higher chance of getting it? Because why would I waste my time trying to get the huge out of this egg when I can instead do it from this egg and get it for a lot cheaper? I don't know. Let's hatch this for five minutes and see how it goes. Five minutes are up. Did I get it? Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't. Well, back to the grind. 
And just like that, we've reached the last area. It's kind of got like a space theme going on. It's actually pretty cool. At the end here, there's the chest raid, which will open again in, uh, looks like 10 hours, 12 p.m. and 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wait, that's 1 p.m. Oh, I just missed it. Dang it, man. Apparently you have a chance to get a huge glitched cat, which is always fun. But on top of that, now we can talk about the next clan battle, which is the raid clan battle. Complete the most rooms in the raid minigame. 19 days left. As you can see, everybody is on the same page, mainly because nobody was able to get into it, apparently. But this is the way we're going to have to go in. We're going to have to raid. And All right. Hi, welcome to the future where the chest raid is now officially open. And we're going to check it out to see exactly what it's about. Okay, well, we got to wait again. <laughs> All right, we're starting in 15 seconds. I've equipped a whole new loadout to try to help us get as far as we can, as fast as we can. Montage, baby. Oh no, we almost made it to room 35. We made it to 34 and now it is done. How many points did I get for my clan? We, I got 33 for my clan. You can actually see who got even further. It looks like it's rooms completed and it looks like it's going to be definitely a group effort because doing that solo, you're not going to get near as far as what you would with other people. All right, I'll return you back to the present. We're going to have to win the clan war. Why are we going to have to win this clan war specifically? Oh, you know, the fact that the winner of this clan war gets a huge mystical fox. It's blue. That's right. I said it. A blue fox. Man, what else is a blue fox these days? I wonder what. This is what I'm going to be doing pretty much the rest of the update. But obviously because we uh, went crazy and basically rushed to the end to try to get to this to find out that I couldn't do it. We missed a lot of stuff. Now we can fly around and check out the world. This looks pretty cool. It's like a mystical cavern. This is like ice and tech at the same time, which is cool and makes sense. Love it. This is old west and tech, which uh, doesn't make sense, but... <laughs> A black hole is forming. It's sucking everything up. It's going to suck you up too if you don't hit that subscribe. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Hey, uh, we will check out this item creator though. Oh, geez. Why would I want to drop in 240 flags? Is he going to take all 240 flags? Break 216K breakables. Okay. Okay, how do I know how far I've done on my quest? I've done 500. Oh, God, that's going to take a while. <laughs> and apparently this is what you get. I don't have to give that away. That's what they give me. Okay, well, that yeesh. That one's to be continued. Oh, no, I have that bug again where I can't move past the area I'm in. <laughs> I thought this dev blog actually said that they fixed a whole bunch of the bugs. Over 140 bug fixes. Uh, guys, you missed one. <laughs> the question is, did they fix the love lamb? Because that was supposed to be flyable. Let's get on it and see. It does! It flies now! I fly now? Aha! That's a way to get through the area. I'm glad this one actually works. It looks like Big Games also fixed all of this stuff here. You can read it if you want to. It's a lot of words and it'll make my brain hurt. But let's see what else this thing has that I haven't seen yet. Now, obviously, at some point, we're going to have to go through and get all the new eggs and all the new pets. We broke the boss chest. Obviously, we're working on getting the new currency. We can now get to rank 21. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> if only there was something to help me actually get this. He says as he finds the new Double Stars Game Pass for 2,400 Robux. That allows me to get double stars while completing quests. That'll show them. Now when I break five comments in the new best area... I now get eight stars instead of four. We gonna start moving up quick. There's also some new upgrades, which we've seen. There's also some new shiny relics, like this one back here, as well as some new achievements. Six new achievements to be exact. You got this one right here. 15,000 chests broken. And this one right here, which is using your ultimate. And speaking of ultimates, there's actually other options for ultimates as well. Like I could buy this one right here for 3,500 Robux. And then I could equip it. There's also these other ones, but like, I don't know how or where to get those yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out. New rewards, new clan battle. These are the new three active huge pets. You got the huge elephant, the huge koi fish, and the huge bee. If you're a fan of the daycare, you'll be happy to know that there is now a chance to get a huge pet in it. That's right. The Mebo on a ship came back. Drop these guys in. Oh, look, another shiny relic. Let's go. All right, let's do a speed round. There's tier nine potions, tier eight enchants. Both of those you have to have a level 50 mastery done before you can even equip them. There's a fruity enchant, super shiny hunter enchant, and a boss chest mimic enchant. There's new charm hammer and chisels to help remove charms from pets. And there are now sprinklers, which, uh... <laughs> 
Well, apparently they help grow the things back when you put them down. But honestly, I'm not seeing much of a difference. Especially when you do this. <laughs> There's so much stuff, OMG. And with all the new stuff, new organization is needed. And guess what? They've done that. We've got the boosts here, the flags here, the buffs here, the gifts here, the boxes here. You get the point. Now there's so much stuff in this update that I don't think I would actually have time to do it all. But there are two other small things that I want to talk about. The first thing is actually back over in the original world. And it's the new huge machine egg. I'm gonna drop one in, get a new free huge out of it. I've got six eggs here. We'll open three. We'll see what three huge pets we can get okay i got uh okay <laughs> all right let's open up the last three we'll see if we can get lucky oh okay yeah sure i got a rainbow out of it that's not bad so we have another chance to hatch some huges there that we haven't hatched before or if we wanted to we could go to the diamond wheel and try our luck here of getting a huge high-tech tiger concept is simple you put in thirty thousand gems and then you have a 0.01 percent chance of getting a tiger oh and an 80 percent chance of getting an old stinky boot well time to do some child gambling uh even though i'm an adult you get the point now i still didn't get it I've, I've done this like 10 times haven't gotten it once if i really wanted to test my luck though i could just buy some of these exclusive eggs here in hopes of getting not only a huge but a titanic let's open up 20 eggs real quick and see if we can get some new jelly huges and the answer uh, no. No, you can't. I haven't gotten any more huges. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, this is super not worth it. But let me tell you, it's a lot better deal than this. 140 million gems for a billion Robux. I don't know, man. You tell me if I should do it or not. <laughs> Bros ask if he could trade me, which actually leads into the final thing I want to talk about. Uh, sorry, kid. I, I got I gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> and that, my friend, is the trading terminal. Which apparently can't be can it not be reached from here? What the heck? How does one go to the trading server from here? Okay, well, this is broken. Can't believe you had to go all the way back to level one just to go to the trading plaza. And then I get here, and one of the developers sends out a global alert saying that they're about to take down the trading terminal for a fix. In the trading plaza, we got some new boosts. Just gonna buy all these real quick oh this is a rich boy booth right here i can flex on all my haters comet booth throne booth which of course i can sit on on top of the new booths there's a new diamond cap for 1 billion to 2 billion you can search on your trade history there's all these trading terminal changes which i i guess is the thing that they're trying to fix and probably my favorite thing now is that if i want to i could buy the bulk of this or i could just pick how much i want now there's three of these mini chests i only want one boom and now he's got two more for sale there's so much stuff that i could continue going on but i think what i'm gonna do instead is put on my throne booth just take a seat and end it here. What do you think of this update? Was it a massive win or a massive L? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're new and check out the next video for me popping up on the corner of your screen. It's right there, ready and waiting for you to click it. Go on, do it. You know you want to. <laughs>